My name is Justin Tushan. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute here in Panama, where I study the hourglass tree frog, which is a Central American tree frog that can lay eggs both in water and on land. Most vertebrate animals we know of can only lay eggs in one place. Because the eggs of this species are able to survive in water and in air, that flexibility, we think, makes them similar to the eggs that would have been transitional forms in all of those other origins of terrestrial reproduction. Probably the most exciting moment in my career so far was one night out at a pond here in Gamboa. You know, I was out studying these hourglass tree frogs, and at that point, I knew what everyone else knew, which was that they laid eggs on leaves. And I'm out in the middle, you know, chest deep in this pond, and here's a pair of the frogs, and they're laying eggs directly into the water. And my advisor was with me at the time, and we both kind of saw this and had this, this moment of, I don't think anyone's ever seen this before, and I think this might be kind of a big deal. And it turns out uh, we were the first ones to ever actually see this. I grew up in central Oregon, and I don't know really at what point I knew that I wanted to be a biologist, but I know it was very long ago, uh, I mean, essentially because of records that my parents have kept. I mean, they have a, a, a drawing that I made in third grade where it's like other kids were drawing, I want to be a policeman, I want to be a fireman, and mine is a guy in a lab coat and some safety goggles on and says, I want to be a scientist. And as a kid, you know, growing up in rural Oregon, your impression of a scientist is a guy in a lab coat. You know, no one tells you that being a tropical biologist is a viable job option. But really the kind of most influential things were when I was an undergraduate, I studied abroad for a semester in North Australia. And that was my first exposure to the tropics. And I just fell in love with it. The diversity, the plants, the animals, the beauty. And that really led me to where I am now.